Hi, I'm Isaac, and we are here for John Archer Hall in Windsor Street. I'm going to be making a documentary about James Clark. James Clark he was born in Georgetown in British Guiana, and he came here as a stowaway on a cargo ship. He was born in 1886 and came to Liverpool when he was 14. He was found roaming the streets hungry, cold and sleeping rough and taken in by an Irish pastor and was adopted by an Irish family by the name of Crawford. He married at 28 to a Liverpool Irish lady named Elizabeth Murphy and had 13 children altogether. Today we went to the Museum of Liverpool to find out more facts about James Clark. I found some there, more buddy. facts about James Clark. James worked on the docks and joined the Waverly Swimming Club. He started teaching children how to swim after rescuing many of them from the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. James was awarded lots of medals and certificates in his life. This is what one of his certificates said. This certificate is awarded to James Clark from Shipwreck and Humane Society for cautiously diving into the West Waterloo docks and rescuing a man from drowning on the 14th of February 1911. He's the first black man to have a street named after him. James Clark Street is in the Vauxhall part of Liverpool. In the Crawford family, James's adopted grandfather was a boxer. He taught James how to box. James Clark led a happy life and he died at the age of 60 in 1946. And today Josh is going to interview Martin Clark, friends of James Clark. Do you know the reason why your grandfather came to Liverpool? Well, a good few years ago we were at a family party and one of my cousins told me that He'd heard the, so he was 14 and he lived in a, in a jungle in South America. And apparently in the village where they lived, the witch doctor in the village, which is like a spiritual man, put a curse on him and said, if he doesn't get away from the village, something terrible was going to happen or he was going to do something terrible. So this witch doctor absolutely terrified him and he ran away and then sneaked at the board a ship, a Russian timber ship that just happened to come to Liverpool and that's how he ended up in Liverpool. So whether that's true or not, obviously we'll never know, but I'll keep that story going anyway. I'd like to thank you and uh, the rest of the people who've worked on this film to help to keep his name going. I think, it's a, I think it's a great story. The story for me is all about somebody coming from very humble beginnings and not having much when they grew up, but making the most of what they're good at. He was really good at swimming and through that he saved people's lives and he made sure the swimming lessons happened in city schools. And that's all basically coming from very humble background. He came here as a 14 year old, uh, as an orphan, um, with no family. So he made the most of what he had and it's just a lesson really to say that other, everybody's good at something and uh, you can make the most of what you've got and be proud. And whilst not everybody can leave, like a legacy that he's left, but you can leave some sort of mark even on your friends and family. So basically just be the best person that you can.